Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. Uh, sorry it's been so long since we uplo I uploaded my last video. Been busy at work and then been out chasing some bigger fish and, and been coming up empty handed. I'll show you the highlights of the last couple of days on the raft at the end of this video, but today we're gonna do something different. I'm gonna show you my fishing reel and why it makes such an all godly sound when I use it. The old bait caster. Show you guys how to turn a cheap reel into like a, into an indestructible saltwater fishing reel. This does come with a warning though. is isn't cheap to, to do this. It does make a, a massive difference to your reel and how easy it is to, to clean it and keep it functioning you know pretty much perfectly so let's jump straight into it I'm gonna try and keep this quick but this is a agility Shakespeare reel I think it's one of the cheapest ones you can pick up I think you can get them off eBay for like 50 bucks or something like that I got mine with a with a rod as well from BCF I think it broke within the first two weeks this this bearing had seized up all the salt had got in here I didn't know anything about them. So this is the first bait caster I ever owned. I wouldn't recommend doing this to all your reels, but if you've got a special one, like the first one you ever owned or something like that, probably, you know, one that you're a bit attached to, probably do it to that. Yeah, these are real cheap reels. Broke, the water got in here real quick, seized up that bearing. So yeah, it sat in the closet for about six months. Finally decided to see what was kind of going wrong with it just when I started this channel. Here we go, I'm gonna take it apart. I'll show you how you guys how to take it apart and show you what I did to kind of turn it into an uh, indestructible saltwater fishing reel. First of all, you unscrew that, took me ages to work out how to do this then just slide pops that out pops your spool out in here we got our first bearing this is a full ceramic bearing did some research this is what it originally came with it was just brass washer that was fully greased up this reel comes with oh it came with two ball bearings and one anti reverse bearing so it was like it was a three ball bearing reel so you can get cheap new reels now that have 10 or 11 ball bearings if you replace all of them with ceramic bearings it's going to cost you like a grand so don't do that don't do that at all first up this one this one in here came with brass washer that was just greased up so what i did is got the measurements off that went onto ebay or Amazon. I got a couple off eBay and a couple were cheaper on Amazon side so and then swapped it out with a full ceramic bearing and then I did also did the same with this. This actually came with a with a stainless steel ball bearing and that was still fine stainless steel ball bearing because it's really hard to get the salt water right into the reel so this one was fine but I still replaced it. That one didn't even have a ball bearing so that one, that one got replaced. That's that one. Then we have the main thing. Just take that screw out there, that screw out there. It's always a screw behind the, on these cheap reels, there's always a screw behind that. It took me ages to realize that, so I'm work out how to take these things apart. I'm gonna quickly undo this reel. So we'll, oh, you also have to take the handle off. That's probably the first thing you should have done. Just take the screw out and the handle, and it leaves you with a, leaves you with a um, nut. Take that off with a shifting spanner or not. I only got pliers today. They're not on very tight, so it's kind of, pretty easy let's give that a little half turn unscrew it that's off i take these apart about once a week just to get the salt off this bit i don't touch anything inside i just get the salt off the handle and that fishing so close to the ocean the salt gets in there so much take the drag off and you got all these washers remember the order otherwise it's going to be a pain putting it back together bearing in here is the one that seized it, had, it was a stainless steel bearing and I did some research, found out everyone was putting air, uh, those orange bocker bearings in. I did some more research. They said they can still get some, some corrosion because they're a ceramic and stainless steel hybrid. Decided to go full ceramic. That one in there, that one had seized within the first two weeks of getting that reel. With these ceramic bearings, they're real good because no corrosion whatsoever. Second thing is if salt water or anything gets in it, you just soak it in warm water. The salt will dissolve out and then they're just pretty much brand new again. So if I ever dunk my reel in salt water, I pretty much much just take it apart and put this this and this bearing here straight into warm water leave it for 15 minutes take it out and they're good as new the great thing about that I've um, recently greased it up some nice new grease so in here we got carbon fiber you can buy these sheets carbon text drag washers off eBay they're like 20 bucks and then you just cut out your own washers just trace around the original so I've got two washers in there. I've got that one underneath the thing and I've also got the... There was also a bearing under there. I felt like I didn't have to replace it though because it doesn't... Like it just holds it in place. So you can replace it but it would have been an extra like 30 bucks for another uh, another full ceramic bearing and I thought oh maybe later. This was kind of like an experiment for me. So I got the two carbon drag washers. Just chuck a little bit of um, carbon text drag grease on them. Make sure they're all greased up. You don't have to put a lot on. Chuck this back together. That's pretty much all I did was change the bearings with, with the full ceramic and then the drag washer change the drag washing with the with the carbon text this reel like the drag is so smooth with that stuff i'm thinking of doing it to all my fishing reels although that thickness is too thick for the cheap reels that i use gonna chuck this back together don't put that on there yeah i'm gonna chuck this back together that's pretty much all you have to do to turn your reel into an indestructible saltwater fishing reel it operates so smoothly and the bearings don't give out on me anymore so i'd recommend doing it but not to all fishing reels because a lot of you'll have like eight or ten fishing reels i don't i have like one i use this 
this for everything. So that's all back together now. Um, see how smooth it runs with all those bearings? I wouldn't, like if you have another reel that's got heaps of bearings, I wouldn't recommend replacing all of them with ceramic. I would just do your major ones, which is that one in the handle. Um, that gets a lot of attention and the two bearings either side of the spool because um, that increases your cast distance like the extra cast distance I get with this is really good compared to the last stuff it had in there So yeah, that's that's just as that's as smooth as smooth as it gets I've been using this ever since I started the channel and I've not had a problem with it since replacing all the gear like I said when I first had it, it broke within the first two weeks. It had seized up the bearings. So this is a fantastic idea. I call it my rat rod of fishing reels because it was it's just ugly on the outside, but it's full of the good stuff on the, on the inside. So yeah, that's why I call it my rat rod of fishing reels. Thanks for watching another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. If you think it's a great idea, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. If you want to know more questions about the reel, just hit it up in the comments below. I'll try and explain it further. If I missed anything, stay tuned for the highlights. Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Timmy Turtle. Actually had a pretty scary encounter this morning. Came across a um, drop bear. Uh, luckily it was on the ground. So we're just heading fishing this morning. Bit of wildlife on the road. Come on, mate. Keep it going. Um, if you find them on the ground, they're relatively harmless. You just keep your distance, you tend to get away all right. So we've got two, two new improvements to the raft. We've got a quick release system for the motor. It's there. Makes it so much easier to set up. And the second thing is we actually named the raft. Thanks to Chuck Morris. Uh, we named it Pipe Dream. The, it's a bit rushed. Maybe the next board I'll paint it a bit nicer. Or maybe I'll change the name, I don't know. But we're going with Pipe Dream for now. Um, someone told me it's also the name of Kelly Slater's book which is ironic because he liked my photo on Instagram of the raft after the Mad Hueys posted me, so that was pretty cool. So Kelly Slater, if you're ever in um, Justin Lane having a pizza, just ask for Timmy Turtle. I'm probably out the back deep frying your eggplant chips. Oh, finally, finally hooked up. Yep. Well, we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. There you go, my only fish for the morning so far. I gotta go to work soon, so I'm not sure how many more I'm gonna catch. A little Trev. Oh, I got another fish. Yes, three hours, no fish. Five minutes, two fish. He's a nice size. Wait. Brim, smallest fish in the tweed. I'm finding him. It's good. 